The Ice Climbers are very unique in that they are two characters that you can control at the same time. Unless Nana gets hit by herself, then a computer AI will take over and until she is back and close to you, you cannot control her. This in itself can cause a desync between the two Ice Climbers, causing them to act almost separately, but still controlled by you. Now, as important as it is to keep them close to each other and as powerful as they can be when synced, they can also be incredible when desynced. This combo will be explained how it's done, just be patient. The cool thing is that you have the ability to desync them from each other on command through a bunch of different techniques that will most likely keep being discovered throughout the years, and so this specific series will have a bunch of episodes to showcase all of the desync discoveries. Alright, so to get things started, there are three kinds of desyncs. Combo-based desyncs, neutral-based desyncs, and miscellaneous desyncs. Let's start with combo-based desyncs. The Ice Climbers can desync from each other through a dash back, a spot dodge, or a roll into an immediate down throw, up throw, back throw, and forward throw. As soon as Popo is in the grab animation, you can input a command for Nana, like a jump aerial, down B, or side B for example. One of the most potent desyncs will allow you to get this combo. It works on all characters, except maybe Jigglypuff, and will deal a lot of damage. As well as you can choose to do a back air instead to send them off stage instead of upwards. So the way it's done is actually pretty simple, but still kind of hard. If you spot dodge and buffer a down throw, Nana will automatically spot dodge. If you roll and immediately down throw, you will need to hold the grab button for a split more second so Nana spot dodges. And if you use the dash back method, you need to tap yourself back, make sure the control stick is set to neutral, then grab and spot dodge, which automatically makes Popo down throw. So let's say you roll, buffer down throw while holding the grab button a bit longer, then press down B, then immediately press forward on the control stick to have Popo walk, and do an up tilt into up air into even more up airs. Careful you don't try buffering the aerials and instead timing it so you don't end up doing any neutral airs. This desync will also be a kill confirm later on, with either up smash or forward smash. To pull this off, you can also dash back, spot dodge, or roll. Buffer grab and basically just charge up smash slightly or charge forward smash slightly. An even better one is dash back, release the control stick, grab, and do a forward smash behind you really quick. A desync can also be done during the down throw animation. Just before Popo slams the opponent, you can press roll and then within 3 frames release the control stick and buffer in neutral air. Then right after the neutral air, just press side B and Nana will allow you to re-grab most opponents. If both the Ice Climbers neutral air, you tried rolling too early. And if you both rolled, you release the control stick too late. Now in order to get this whole combo, you need to down throw, roll before the slam, neutral air, side B, re-grab, immediately down throw, roll before the slam, neutral air, side B, re-grab, immediately down throw, into a buffered forward air. This works on most of the cast past 8 percentage. Now for neutral based desync. In the neutral, the Ice Climbers can desync from each other if you do a pivot cancel, by simply turning around during a run and pressing C-Stick forward tilt towards the direction you are running. They can also desync from each other through aerial landing lag with any aerial. Some aerials might be harder to do it with. This is the most convenient and used desync in their arsenal. You can land at any point with the aerial, and even hit the aerial. Now, 3 frames before the main Ice Clamber lands, you can make Nana buffer anything, from a special move, to a grounded attack, to even a short hop aerial. This is really hard to pull off, since if you input it 4 frames before Popo lands, they won't desync, and if you input something just as Popo lands, they won't desync. So you have a 3 frame window here. 
If you hit the opponent or the shield with only Popo, you will have a much larger desync window. Now, let's say you successfully told Nana to do a down special 3 frames before Popo landed. As long as you release the special button before Popo's landing lag is over, he won't do anything, while Nana will do a down special which, of course, allows Popo to do whatever he wants. This combination can lock an opponent in shield and guarantee Popo a grab. It can even mess up the opponent's grab attempts and even throw attempts. As for the previous combo, you can do something similar, where you land with an up air, hit it with Popo, tell Nana to down B before you land, and then Popo will have plenty of time to walk up and up tilt, or even grab during the blizzard. This is extremely good for the Ice Climbers, as they can do a buffered back air into a landing neutral air anyway. Here, for example, I'm doing a short hop buffered up air into up air. Just before I land, I quickly tap side B to tell Nana to buffer it. Walk forward grab, and forward smash. Another way of desyncing in neutral is to simply press and hold the neutral special, then buffer a grab, and once the grab animation is almost done, release the grab button while still holding the special button. At this point, you can hold the control stick in any direction, and Nana will do a special move while Popo can do anything. This of course allows you to start mashing side B for example, to get separately timed specials. Or have Nana pressure with neutral B while Popo uses his hammer. They can desync by doing a down smash and then buffering a dash, and they'll automatically run opposite directions. As for miscellaneous desyncs, there are a couple of important ones. If you run and press grab at the ledge, while also doing a half circle on the control stick to get the ledge quickly, Nana will grab the ledge. If you simply do a forward smash, she'll do a reverse forward air at the ledge. Or do a down special. They can even desync at the ledge and come up with an option that could be very hard to beat. This one specifically can be done by pressing ledge jump just before Popo grabs the ledge. This will make Nana ledge jump. Now press side B and release the B button quickly, as you also press A to get up attack with Popo. Generally, Nana is 6 frames behind Popo, so getting a parry is likely only going to happen with Popo, while Nana shields it normally. There is only one frame that Popo and Nana can parry together. On the other hand, however, if they both take the same shield stun, you can time the up smash out of shield early and release the attack with good timing to have only Nana do an up smash out of shield, while Popo hides in shield. More on this on the next episode. As I said, these are definitely not all of the desync options, only the essential ones right now. There are more ways to desync, and many more will be discovered, so stay tuned for more episodes by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And check out the document in the description if you want more in-depth help on how to desync. Also, shout out to Safe State. Go follow him on YouTube for more Ice Climber stuff. And shout out to Iggy for the document.